Hello, everybody. This is Beetle G. Welcome back to Full Metal Furies. This is coming to the exciting conclusion. We're picking up right back where we left off yesterday. Ooh. The fireplace. Okay. Keep moving. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> the titan who imprisoned Prometheus and started this all up is ahead. This may be our only chance at saving this world. Jesus. Oh man, is he going to be massive? Brace yourselves, ladies. I have a bad feeling about this. Or it's going to be Go Cat. Hmm. Oh my god, it's the peddler! Thank you for letting me travel with you for so long. Peddler, what are you doing here? The same thing as you. I'm securing the future of humanity. Now please, stop spitting out your tea. Look beneath you. Everything you do right now is being transmitted to the world, but we wouldn't, and we wouldn't want to set a bad example. What is going on? How are you doing this? Are you a titan? Are you one of the one that imprisoned Prometheus? Me imprisoned Prometheus? Ho ho ho, of course not. I am Prometheus. Hmm, that sounded cooler in my head. Oh well. Whoa. I'm confused. If you weren't in prison, then where have you been all this time? I was merely in hiding. You see, during my reign, the world was falling apart. At first, I blamed humanity. No matter how I tried, I could not appease you. Yeah, we're pretty messed up. Super messed. But that is when I had an epiphany. How could I claim to understand humanity when I myself was not a human? No, what I needed was an ambassador from humanity to speak to the Titans. And that is why we are here, transmitting your message to everyone below. Look, the fighting has stopped. I only had to make an appearance to halt the war. Now, I believe you have something for me. You have collected all the shards and brought me the crystal mirror, yes? Oh, is that what it was supposed to be? We couldn't figure it out, so we just put them in a sack. You, you, what? The mirror was a metaphor to reveal your inner strength. Oh, well. At least it still got you here. But why did you pick us to represent humanity? I did not pick you. I waited and you came. You solved my trials and proved that you are special. So, you were the one that created the wormholes? See, Triss, I knew they weren't by chance. Of course not. I needed them to spy on humanity. And please, let's use the proper scientific terminology. They're not wormholes. They're called worm buttholes. You see, humans are too easy to placate. Mix our sultry voices with our natural good looks. And suddenly, human beings can't help but follow the first titan they see. But we didn't need a follower, we needed a paragon. Someone who truly knew what each titan stood for. To choose what was best for the future of your kind. But for you to appear, I needed a catalyst. And what better one than the disappearance of Prometheus himself? You disappeared in the off chance that someone would rise and rebel? The world has been destroyed because of you. Destroyed because of me? The world was destroyed because there was no me. Hmm, that sounded cooler in my head. Oh well. But none of that matters now. I have returned, and more importantly, I have my paragons. So everything we've done, defeating all the titans, was just to test a test to you? I never asked you to defeat the titans. I wanted you to listen and understand them. I also wanted you to solve some riddles, and solve them you have. Your presence here is proof of that. Now, Furies, let us stop the dilly-dallying. You've confronted each titan and learned more about this world than any other human being. Tell me, how shall humanity be ruled? Now choose. Hmm, that sounded cooler in my head. Oh, well. Whoa! This is really neat. And I think... There's two obvious choices. Mennonitis, he's a really good guy. I actually really like him. He's 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 adorable. And Styx, this is Styx, right? She is about nonviolence. I think I'm going to choose Styx. But Mennonitis is a really close second. You choose the ide ideology of my daughter, Tightness Styx. Equality above all else. There shall be no haves and have-nots. Let's choose sticks. I am so curious what choosing each of them does. Act 10, epilogue, absolute balance. The Furies saw that there would never be peace in a world full of inequality. With their decision made, Prometheus swept the lands, dividing the wealth equally amongst everyone. All efforts were for the greater good, as individual accomplishment and motivation was snuffed out. Oh gosh. 
<laughs> that last line didn't sound great. Whoa. Teddy, captain of the chess club, Lee. Oh, man. That was crazy. Is it cheating to just go choose all the different ones? Man, what a good game. I am heavily impressed. That was so much fun. Do, 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 do. I wonder, is there anything special now that we've completed? Let's go to the world map. Whoa! Excuse me? This isn't gold. Gold. Decide the fate of humanity. Um. Well, I mean, let's let's check out the other ones. <laughs> this is a really short video so far. Uh, let me see if I can skip through. Hmm. I'm curious if there's any hidden boss after this. I might have to go research a little bit. I should have researched a little bit before this. I didn't want to spoil the ending. <laughs> I've spoiled a bunch of it already. That's true, I Mennonites. One king above all others. No democracy. No compromises. Just one voice. Yeah. So I don't. I don't think Sticks was necessary. Or I think Sticks might be the good choice. A king of gold. The Furies came to understand that humanity was flawed and a true leader was needed to rule the world. With their choice made, Prometheus descended from the sky and ruled with an iron fist. <laughs> the weak and unfaithful were cast down and strong and loyal prospered. Yeah, that... I mean, it sounds good for strong people. Let's skip that cutscene. Alright, we're gonna run through each of these and then... Maybe that's when it's like, oh, you can't decide. I just wish this part was a little bit quicker. Roll, 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 roll! Oh, you can do it. <laughs> Are you guys sick of that noise yet? Alright. Let's do the beast. Wait, 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 wait. Furies, you must choose an ideology from one of the consoles. How shall I lead humanity? Uh, let's try moving up here. Okay, let's try choosing this one. So you wish to see the power of Coas's scientific progress. Any ruling decision is made purely to propel scientific and technological advancements forward, no matter the cost. Yes. My god, I didn't expect the peddler. The infinite tomorrow. The Furies saw the potential that Coas spoke of, a world of technological prowess. Under his rule... Prometheus drove society forward, no matter the cost, as ethics were cast aside in the name of progress. And I do think the w one of the points they're making here is, oh, hey, look, none of these are perfect. Styx feels very, very socialist, which is definitely more in line with my ideals. I do think that full socialism doesn't work. <laughs> But, like, it's it's the extremes don't work. Extreme capitalist doesn't work either. Because that's kind of similar to the, the technological advancement one, where it's just, hey, the rich get richer, the poor get poorer. All right. Lantos. He is racist. He just wanted one... <laughs> yeah, one race. So Lelantis was right all along. Hom hom homogeny over diversity. One culture and one people to end the conflict. Let's do it. <laughs> the great solution. My god, what a terrible, terrible name for his plan. The rise of Babylon. As long as multiple cultures existed, the fighting would never end. Guided by this principle, Prometheus descended from the sky and purged the world of all but one civilization. At an unspeakable cost, uniformity was brought to a once diverse world. In fact, I feel like diversity is extremely important. I mean, I'm just thinking about, like, diseases. You, you don't want one, like, with plants. That, isn't that a problem with bananas or something right now? They made it so there's only one 
type of banana, and now one sickness can wipe out all the bananas. That's the problem with... That's an issue with GMO stuff. I'm not against GMOs. I think they're good, but you gotta be careful or you can have all your stuff wiped out in one go. All right, so let me let me pause this for a second and do a little research because I feel like I might be missing something here. So hold on one second. I'm back. All right, so I did figure it out. Oh, shoot. Why did I do that? Uh, I honestly feel like I should have figured this one out a long time ago. <laughs> But hey, you know, it's it's just, I'm it's I'm slow today. It's it's okay. All right, got to take the long walk for the fifth time. For the fifth ending, the true ending. Hey, get off your throne, Prometheus. Furies, what are you doing? We're making our choice. No more kings. All right. Then you've made your decision. I see Kronos was correct all along. Humanity is beyond redemption. Furies, as you fall, so too shall the world. Yes, that was cool sounding. Oh no. Oh no. I don't like it. Can all the titans come back and help? The fire. Ooh. Oh, I can't move. Ooh. Furies, I tore this world apart to find you, to find someone worthy. If this is the best humanity has to offer, then it's no offer at all. The experiment is over. Come, let us show the world the cost of humanity's pride. Ooh, he's big. He's a big one. Oh, I guess he's a titan. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, good music. No! Okay. Oh my god. His HP is insane. Woo. Okay, it's not terrible. I just haven't actually hit him much. Ooh. He does do a lot of damage. Okay. Okay, okay. Ah! Oh my god. He's so... He's so spinny. Oh no. He's invincible. Hey. Hey! Oh, wow! That was a huge explosion. Pick him up. Pick him up! Uh, pick him up! Pick him up! Quick! Oh! Hey, he broke the walls for me. That was nice of him. I'm so scared to see what happens when we get through... Oh, God. Ugh. Oh, God. Okay. This is... Oh, my God. Oh! Oh! Come on, come on. We do seem to revive quicker in here, maybe? Oh, God. He's changing the letter. Ooh, ooh, buddy! Ow. I feel like we might need to grind a little bit to get through this. It's... Oh, God. Yeah. Hey, he got us out of there. That's nice. Uh, just because we want more HP and more damage. Ah, I messed up that last counter. Okay, he's down. Down for the count? No. Oh my god! I'm so glad we got her up just in time. Ah, so we have enemies now. Hopefully not infinite enemies. Oh, and he picks two modifiers at once. Ah, the snake! 
Oh, we can't hurt anybody right now. Please, 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 please. Oh my god. Oh, this is real bad. This is real bad. Oh, man. Oh my god. Alright, get rid of this guy. We need as little distractions as possible. This doesn't seem terrible so far. Oh, well. Yeah. Freaking sign me up for not this right now. This is horrible. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. That's not good. Ooh! Ooh! This is too much! This is too much already! No! Ugh. This is gonna be a good fight. Alright. I think this is a good place to call it. We figured out the last boss. It's Prometheus! Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to try it again next time on Full Metal Furies. Thank you for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, leave a like, a comment, a subscribe. They, they help me gain power so we can defeat Prometheus. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Have a good night.